Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little, a little bit different than we normally do. So as you can see, I have the three save files here. Normally what we do is we jump in this top one here, we play hard mode, we jump through, and try and progress in the game, which is what we're going to do towards the end of this video. But I just wanted to show you this other account that I've been working on. This is my off screen when I want, don't want to record a video or I'm too tired or there's people in the house. And I just feel like playing about Calabresa. So what I've been doing on this account is basically turning into like a breeding account. So if you guys are interested, in the end I'll try and do some breeding lines. So if you guys want to follow along, just let me know, leave a like and a comment. And we'll go from there. So this is my horses that I have running at the moment. So we have even Fan. I pretty much smashed out everything I can do with him stat wise as you can see he's 30 from 30 the big thing on this account is i do have to save and um, reset it a lot because what with breeding your evaluation and your like grading is based on how well they perform so i had to make sure i won a lot of the races even though i did a lot of the first attempt as you can see here he's pretty much been favorite for every race so it's not really that big of a deal he is a very good horse so for titles he's won wonder horse which is 30 um, group one wins, I believe. King of Kings, which is winning the GWS, Turf, Sprint and Dirt, all three categories. I did it in one year. Another World is winning a GWS race by um, more than 10 lengths, I believe. Generalist is, I believe it's a group one GWS in both Turf and Dirt, and then the other one a mile, mid champ, Dirt champ, and all around them. So he's going to be probably one of my main sides in the series, because I do love great horses. Jumping into the next one is our first ever, this is our first foal in the series. So he's a five year old, so I was able to have a foal in the third year, which was quite good. As you can see here, he's 20 from 20 also. This has taken a lot of save and restarting. Not of late, like these last three races, the GWS is his one first attempt, which has blown me out of the water. As you can see, he's got that heart in the field and the tent, which is really good. So he's a dirt horse, he's by Good Devil and Violent Mind. Let's have a look at his pedigree. Jump into his blind. As you can see, Good Devil is fast paced, okay, and Violent Mind, last corner leader. So that's where he sort of gets that from. He's ready to retire, but I'm trying to get him into the Hall of Fame to increase my breeding size on my farm. So that's why I haven't retired the top two horses. Next is Spinning Post. If you have her for the sale in your shop, buy her. She is the best front running filly to breed, period. I don't care if you love Round Cosmos, if you love Endless Libra, Spinning Post and Heartful Delight breed the best horses in the game. And I'll jump onto my other save file after we do this and show you how good the combination is. Wonder Whale, also a very good horse. He's 17 from 17, a four year old. He's just past peak, so he's not quite ready to retire. Also, I won the GWS Sprint, Turf, and Dirt, and King of Kings all in the same year. The only title he's missing is Wonder Horse, which he's not quite there. He's only won 17. So we have our next crop of horses that came out. This is the second crop, these two here. So we have Zenzo. He's quite average. He's got a lot of heart, which passed on from Good Devil, which didn't pass on with Violent Devil, unfortunately. He has all positive abilities, so I'm still contemplating if I breed with him or not. I did lose the Mile Champ Cup, but... I didn't really care because I was sort of figuring out like where he ran and what like his preferences were. So as you can see, he's still like question mark on the dirt. So being from Good Devil, I believe it's going to be good or great. So we'll wait and see. Another one is Julius Caesar. He's also on my horse. He's not very good. He has heart, temper and feel as well. Um, good and great on dirt and turf. One ability hasn't been picked up. He's by Shady Singer and Violent Mind. So he can run Turf and Dirt, which is understandable. Shady Singer is a dirt horse as well. Which will jump in here. Last corner leader, both. So that was obviously going to pass through. And okay, so let me explain these two here. So Vera's Moon, she's my fastest filly. She was 86 at peak. She's just backing off now. She's got no latent abilities, which is quite strange. She's by Old Page and Dear Son. She's a three-year-old filly. She's actually been quite good. Like she's won a lot of these races without having to restart. Actually, all of them, I believe. On debut, I ran her in the 
Um, the race in eighth of the second, that group one, and she won that pretty easily actually, without it, even a revolution. Next we have Hawkeye, which is also a filly, but this one's by Sedate Hawk in Oddborn. I also really like Sedate Hawk as a um, ability pass on, especially for Leighton, because she can get Spurt, which is amazing. And luckily enough here, it's been combined with Grit, so it's basically like bang, bang, and if you get a revolution, you just out the field even though she's a like back end trailer which is awesome so we got general world from a riviera i believe let me just double check yeah and i'm not really fond of it that's why i don't really care and these are my two new ones as you can see here won that and hasn't run yet i think that's where i'm up to now sedate chief and sir buster and um other mayors here same father so i could have bought any of these i wasn't really keen on them so we're just going to jump back now and go into the stable just to show you what I've got prepared and what's going forward. So we jump into the broodmares to start off with. I'm lacking in broodmares, which is sad. So we've got Sedate Chief who's in foal. Serve Buster who was going to go to Fresh Life, who's a new addition to my barn as of last season. But they weren't, they were perfect match, which is good, but it, uh, she just didn't conceive. Wing Light, which was a filly I was able to pick up because she has a good um, growth type as well as speed. She has 96 speed at peak, I believe. And Ray Babe, which is an awesome mare. The reason why you need Ray Babe is she's, she's a perfect match for X Factor, who's a very strong sire and very good for bloodlines. And our other sires here we have Warm Star, Tender Value, Fresh Light, and Desert Diver. So. My bloodlines I've got going through the next couple of seasons are going to be a lot more beneficial than the ones I've got currently. These are my one-year-olds. A lot of them have four-star futures. Desert Diver and Serve Buster I'm really excited for because that's a lot of power and it's a cult. Um, Naked Series and Wing Light was sort of just, let's see how much speed I can throw because both of them horses have a 90 speed and at the time I had a spare slot. Naked Series was just an S-ranked special horse. And then we have Rapid Monday. I'm going to rename these four, except I might leave Golden Force because I actually like that one. But these three are up for grabs. Leave a like in the comments or like a comment down below if you want to name one of these. And I might just pick a couple of names out because I have a lot of foals to name and I can't name them all. As we jump over here, I'm going to leave Dark Nova on this line as well. I really do love that name. It's Tender Value and Sedate Chief. So I'm really excited to see what potential this horse will have. I believe it won't be too good because state's um, abilities will drop it down, but I, I'm just hoping this will be like the first generation to pass on good abilities and combine like that spurred ability with tender value's instant response. So yeah. Um, Nervous Gamble is a filly by Easy Track and Surf Buster again. And then tender value and wing line. So this one, this filly will have a name up for grab. And then tender value and Ray Bay, which will also have the, um, the name up for grab. So yeah, if you'd like to drop a comment down below, you might get a horse named after you. And I'll definitely race all of them. Like you won't get like the whole career of the horses. Like every now and again, I would just jump in, jump out, show you what the horses have done, unless it's like a really big race. Or like, and again, I might update it. We'll wait and see, because this isn't my main account for the YouTube series. It might be in the end. But we don't know. At the moment, I'm really happy just playing this one off camera. So then I don't have to record all the time. So I'm just jumping through and finding where the... Um... Oh, yes. So... Okay. Oh, the... we're already past June. So we already know where their fillies and whatnot are going. So that's the first account. As you can see there, I have a lot of progress in that one. And this other account is my main. I haven't played on this account since 2018. I've checked it in and out of it, but I just haven't been interested because there's so much going on that I can't really like get back into it, unfortunately. But as it loads up here, like this is my favorite save file ever. That's why it's still there. Otherwise I would have deleted it. But as you can see here, I have a lot of horses. <laughs> so Frogal Lark, I heard she was good for breeding. So I just grabbed her. Everyone knows her. Menti, Mental Power is my favourite horse in the game. A ranked, I don't give a two hoot about what anyone else thinks. So Pretty Knight by Mental Power, which Pretty Knight is my best horse I've ever bred. 
in the game. And I'll show you his stats in the Hall of Fame. So Mentality has 90 speed, turned out to be an all right. Can run the turf and the dirt, six to 14. So she's probably, well, he's really going to be a good horse. T Amo, sustained, distance unknown, didn't really bring over any of the facts from only a myth. And Desert Ending, has really good positive abilities. So, nothing wrong with that horse. 14 from 14, favourite restart as to be expected. Sedate Ruler, just love grey horses. Just trying to my barn because he has a lot of A to S ranked abilities. Tender Value, got him back because I had him on earlier, but he's sort of just in the back burner because he's not like up to my other horses' levels. Apocalyptic, 7 2 unknown. A lot of abilities unknown because he's 3 year old filly. Pretty Night by Clear Shells, which is also another one of my horses. I'll go through and find them. They're all still in the Hall of Fame. Front Runner. Um, then we have Best Devil. I believe Press um, Wild Charm. Front Runner. 99 speed. Some abilities tr transfer over, some don't. Pretty Lagoon is a fast growth with 97 stamina. Also by Blue Lagoon. But, yeah. Simple item, fast growth. I don't, I'm trying to get away from the fast growth, that's why I haven't really raced these ones as much. As you can see, most of mine are, like, um, can run on both surfaces, which is pretty cool. So that's what I was sort of going for. Water gun, another fast growth, 96, pretty nice. Waterbone, unfortunately, waterborne. But unfortunately, um, pretty nice tends to throw a lot of fast growth types. So that's why I've got Even Fan, Major River, and Simple Men to try and extend. The breeding life when I throw through fillies. So we have Time with it and Dear Puffy, Friendly Myth and Clear Shells, Polish Beat and Desert Ending, and then Next Story and Blue Lagoon. So if we have a look at their pedigrees, just as these are the younger horses, as you can see here, Time with it is a that's a multiple generation, that's a fourth gen. Pearly Lord was also one of my original horses. Cosmic Myth, only a myth being a horse I actually drive because I'm a harness racing driver in real life. So as you can see here, Rough Believer was by Tender Value and Spinning Post, which I just said before, best mare you can have, in my opinion. And then Fresh Light Serve Buster, which was Lost Lord, which her and Half the Dollar produced only a myth. So I have the perfect um, combination to start that top line again, and I'll show you only a myth. He is insane. I'm really happy that I was able to breed that line together. So Polish Beat and Desert Ending, which is a brand new first gen um, pedigree. Now we're gonna jump in here and have a look at this one. Again, as you can see here, Lost Lord, Half of Delight, only a myth around Cosmo's next story. And then the bottom line is Ice, which is a black filly. Oh, oh no, no, King, King must be a sire. Yeah, but I have so many horses through here. So it will be interesting to see where they're at. You normally can see like, what their abilities are based on where like they're running on their first week but a lot of people save like buy all and save and go to the off game file or like the free race mode and then race all of them together so we'll see where they race this growth and all like that information you know so we'll start off with the hall of fame just to show, show you my favorite horses so as you can see here i have ending days she was a 97 94 81 86 she was able to run 5 to 14 won the sprint and the dirt could have won the turf also probably i just had other horses well, he was just have other horses that were better probably because he hate, hated the pack so that's probably why i didn't really bother with it but was still able to get a spot pretty night good on the turf but perfect on the dirt six to fourteen one king of kings i believe still an ability i didn't unlock which probably was a negative ability so i'm not really too fussed he had max speed, max stain, and good stamina. We'll just jump in here as he is my favorite. I'm not sure if you can see the what horse titles they won with like, just like the old diagram. So we'll just have a quick little gaze here. He won a lot of group ones. I don't know, I'm not sure how long this will take, but I'm in a little bit of a rush. Because I'm going to upload a um, another episode straight away after this one, being my um, main series so don't stress if you aren't interested in this type of video you can just get two videos so here we go so he won horse of the year all around a generalist another world the sprint the turf the dirt king of kings and that's all life record was 20 and 20 so sort of expected that he was one of my favorites um 
I would quickly just grab my phone if I remembered where I put it. Um, because I believe, oh here it is, I have a photo of what his stats were when he was a bubba at the sales. It's an old photo, but... Yeah, pretty nice. So, in the sales, he... So, so your jockey evaluation points for start, he was 98. Bill, 98. Position, 89. Stretch, 98. Consistency, 98. So, he was a very hard horse to get if you weren't maxed out, pretty much. Um, something royal. I was trying to do a secretariat bloodline and make this horse something like something royal, as in the mayor that threw secretariat, if you didn't know. But I think I just gave up on that and she didn't do a good mayor anyway. So, woohoo! Fresh light, he's still in there. I'll eventually like replace the um, horses in here that just like J Ho and Fresh Light because you don't need them in Hall of Fame. I didn't mean to click on that, but this is Lost Number, I believe, by Lost Lord. I'll just jump out of there because, like, I'm not really too phased to see all that. So, lost number 98, 95. Good arm power, feel heart. So, she's definitely a bright side filly. GWS Dirt was unknown, but still won the dirt. So, he probably wasn't best on the dirt, but was still able to win. Carrot Can 99, 99, 88. Good both sides abilities. One sprint on the turf. One negative ability, unfortunately, but what can you do? Braveheart. Ran both six to nine, so she was definitely a sprinter and had all positive abilities. Next story, as you can see, also 99, 99, 79, 70. Yeah, good cult, by only a myth. Only had two abilities, which isn't too bad. And then Warhorse, could run the turf and the dirt well. Hated packs. He was by Last Delight and Frontier. Tender value, as you can see, I've got him back in the game, but he's in there, so I have to I'll remove him. Time Wizard, never knew what distance he ran. Explosive, instant response, last corner leader. So he had really good abilities, probably should have played with him a bit more to unlock more. Last Saga, 6 to 14, 99, 96, and 90. Decent abilities. All positive except for South Pole, which is unfortunate, but nothing you can do. Waterborne, J Home Round Cosmos. The um, funny story about the name from this horse was my family member also had horses and the mother tried to give birth in their pond so they had to go fish the foal out of the pond so they named it Waterborne never made it to the races it wasn't good enough also it was just a pet for many years but that's the story and as you can see here this is one I'm most proud of so happy playing when you shh, the dream series is both I believe you get her and I was able to win 52 races with her and won every horse title with her in the game so I'm quite proud of that. As you can see here, only a myth. I somehow won the dirt on him, even though he was poor, probably because I cared about him so much, because as I said, I have still race on this horse today. He's seven or eight years old at this point, and I drive him because I'm a harness racing driver. So I really won this horse in the game. Man Cosmos, everyone knows her, she's a beautiful horse. So Apple Jeans, eight to nothing. Definitely by Happy Plane and only a myth. All positive abilities, couldn't unlock one, but as you can see, she definitely took over from her father and her mother. As you can see, she's nearly as good as her mum, but just not quite. But at least that passed on, which was good, so I'm able to breed that on. Clear Shells, J Ho, Rough Believer, good to see that some abilities still pass on through generations, and Brave Method. Six to eight on the turf and the dirt. Definitely a super sprinter, tender value in the spinning post. So this is a combination, this is a first generation foal. If you are even contemplating giving up spinning posts, look at this horse. All positive abilities, no negatives, and they're the stats that you can expect. Wow. Like, let's just go up to tender value just to explain this, right? So he gets 99 and a couple of SSs. So he gets four SSs, right? Or five, sorry. I apologize. This is a first gen foal. You only get three. But you get more stamina. Breaking and temper, which are both good. And then fill and heart, which you can keep bringing into. And last but not least, Red Melody. 99, 98, 94. 6 to 15 on turf and dirt. I only won the turf. 
on her, which is strange. I reckon I had too many horses at that point. And as you can see, their records are all pretty good. I'm most impressed with that one. I can't remember what race I lost with her, but that's alright. We'll just jump into the barn. Oh, I went too far, my bad. And just show you what I'm sort of rocking. I need to go through and clear it out, to be honest. I think there's a lot of crossbreeding I'm trying to avoid, but there's just too many people all over the spot there. I'm like, ah. So happy playing, she's pretty old now. She's 16 years old, so you think about that. You buy one when she's two. So take 15 years off. So I had her in all of these lines 22 years ago. Well, yeah, something like that. So as you can see, I've still got something royal. Wild Charm, Apple Jeans, as you can see, she definitely got that beautiful ability crossover from Only Myth and Happy Plane. Strong Hawk, just for trying to get some first gen foals, I believe. Wild Vegas, because she's grey, I love her. Red Melody's still in here. Fast Growth, that's probably why I didn't race her on anything else. I wanted to keep her evaluation crossover patient up. So Date Chief, just to give her another go. Jump into the studs, as I love what I've got in here. So as you can see, time was at 34 grand. Polish beat. I've heard good things about him. We'll wait and see. Courtney Lark. Oh, I, I honestly would not suggest it. He's, he's not the best, but if you want to. Pretty nice, I just kept it in here because of his cost. He's 90 grand to breed with. As you can see, he was a fast growth and he's passed that along, which isn't the best. If I was to repeat this, I would um, free at Heart for Delight Spinning Post again, and then with Fast Delight, and then War Horse, and then try it again, and hopefully not get a fast growth. That would be my suggestion. Only a myth, as you can see here, second gen foal, had a lot of good abilities. Last Saga was 56 grand. A lot of bloodlines went into this horse, as you can see. So that goes back further, as you know, Fine Tear was a part of this bloodline. So, you know, it's Heart for Delight and Spinning Post. So basically, if you look at it. Yeah, so basically, instead of breeding, um, oh no, Pretty Night. Okay, so that's um, Pretty Night Sun, and then there's more on the bottom side, which is this exciting saga, J-Ho Lost Lord, and whatnot. Lovely. Carrot Can, and Fresh booster. I think that was just a horse I didn't expect to be any good and I left the like factory name on it <laughs> because it, it didn't have many stars compared to the rest of its horses even though it's by Happy Pony pretty nice but yeah I'll have to go through and clear this out like this horse should probably go um carrot can will stay as you can see I can still breed this horse with anything that throws by um happy plane so yeah so that's pretty much my stable at the moment. I'm pretty proud of a couple of those horses. They're not superstars when I've compared them to other people. But here are my foals. So we got Stern Liquor because I, I bought him for I think one year. Yeah, one year just to try and get um, the greys back in the lines, as you can see. I think I went nearly every horse to um, Stern Liquor. So. Strong Earth, like I don't think I've even named him, that's how like disinterested I got from this, unfortunately. That's a good combo, 5 star future. 2 5 star futures, which is, will be interesting to see how this little cult runs. I might have to play this just for a year to see. Another one, Wild Charm, Zenica, and then Time Wizard and Dear Puppy. Jump into our... You little little babies, our wings. Radiant side, so, time is a lost number. Pretty nice, something royal. Regal phantoms, stern look at a brave heart. Single culture, carrot can, happy plane. Oh, this one should be a good match. Stormy desert and funny prize. But yeah, so this one, this video is probably not going to be as long as the rest, so just because I wanted to run through and really show you like the account and whatnot. I'm going to try and go to the main menu and see if I have any VTRs of my horses winning races. Um, I'm not sure where they even get saved, to be honest. Um, 
Oh, these are all my um, saved original horses. I could show you all those. Uh, I'll probably go through them. So Lost Lord, as you can see, Fresh Light, Salt Buster. And then we have Fine Tia, Heart for Delight, Spinning Post. And the Myth, we know about Fairy Episode. Deep Delight, Soul Buster. Ice, which was Tender Value, Lost Lord. Brave Method, Tender and Spinning. Tender and Lost Lord. Waterborne, we know. Clear Shells, we know. Pretty Night, Ending Days. Regal J, J Ho Regal Effect, had all positives. Blue Lagoon, J Ho Left Tempest. Fine Wizard, Fast Delight. Sharp Emotion had explosive, only a plane, which was only a myth. Happy um, plane. I think it was fast growth, though. I just decided not to play around. It was a really good horse, but just never followed up with it. Lost number, next story, dead ending. Brave heart, apple jeans, carrot can, something royal, water gun, rightly a simple item, pretty lagoon, best devil, apocalyptic, fresh booster, red melody, last saga, mentality, Tiamo. High stage, Rose Bed. I believe that was Silly Angel Rose Walk. Yeah, it didn't turn out too bad for a first, first gen file. But yeah, so there's those. And, yep. Um, where are the VTRs? Replays, here we go. Let's just see if we have any that we can show just to make this an episode 30 minutes that I like to get to and show you, like, the abilities of some of my horses. Unfortunately not. Um, no, I don't, didn't save any, unfortunately. So, we're going to end the video there so I can record this next episode for you guys of the series. If you'd like me to name any of the foals that you saw in the video on the um, second account with Nelson, on this account here let me know and i'll name them for you and then i'll update you for like their progress how they developed what their abilities were and whatnot so thank you and if you are new to the channel please subscribe if you are returning thank you i appreciate it and i hope to see you all here every episode for the foreseeable future so thank you and have a really good night or day bye